Warner Brothers Games has made some very questionable decisions over the years, and we've gotten some terrible game releases like Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and also Gotham Knights. But now we are finding out that the upcoming Wonder Woman game is actually being worked on by the Gotham Knights developer, which has led to a lot of people questioning how bad this game is really gonna be. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, the gaming industry has been blowing up with talk about narrative consultation companies and Sweet Baby Inc., and it's very important to note that when it comes to Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, Sweet Baby Inc. actually worked on both and they had some very bad people working on these two titles who did not care about pleasing the fans or making good games, but of course making games that had specific narratives that were part of them, but now it's being reported that the Gotham Knights developers are working on this upcoming Wonder Woman game, which already has some questionable news surrounding it. It says Warner Brothers Games Montreal, the studio behind Gotham Knights, could be assisting Monolith Productions with its upcoming Wonder Woman game, at least according to a newly discovered job listing. Warner Brothers Montreal is already well familiar with the DC Universe, having helped rock study with Batman Arkham City Armored Edition for the Wii U in 2012 before releasing Batman Arkham Origins the following year. Its next gaming venture took it outside of the Arkhamverse with Gotham Knights, a spiritual successor that shifted the focus toward the other members of the Bat family as they carried out the mission of defending Gotham City after Batman's death. Now, I did play through Gotham Knights because even though it was not canon to the Arkhamverse, it was supposed to be the this big spiritual successor, and I personally was extremely disappointed with it. While I would love a good game focused on the other members of the Bat family, they killed Batman off, completely disrespected the fans, and they had Batman go on, you know, this, uh, big rant about how he had white privilege and because he was rich he got to do many things that other people didn't get to do. It just was a cringe fest. It was not well written. The gameplay itself also had quite a few problems. It just was a very forgettable experience. And of course, recently we've been talking about this Wonder Woman game because of the tough spot that a lot of these superhero slash comic book video games have been, and there have been some good release ones, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, we've had a lot of failures. Gotham Knights is one of those examples. It did not make the money they were expecting, sitting at a 5.2 user score, so not the best, but definitely not the worst. I personally was not impressed with the game. I thought the gameplay was definitely um, not as smooth as the Arkhamverse games that it was trying to almost copy. Um, I definitely was not a big fan of a lot of the character development within it. It felt very Gotham Knights meets Saints Row reboot. There was just a lot of, like, cringeworthy dialogue. And then we had, of course, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League sitting at a measly 3.6 user score. And honestly, that's generous. The gameplay in this was not good. The character development was really bad. There was, you know, messaging about environmentalism in this game. And, of course, racism in this game. Same with another title that recently released, Spider-Man 2, a game that did not go in the direction a lot of people were hoping. They uglified characters like MJ. There was questionable dialogue between, you know, Peter and some of the male characters. And then, of course, they did definitely hit home on, on notes of, like, environmentalism within it. And overall, while it was technically a extremely sound game, honestly, fantastic gameplay and pretty good pacing. It just lacked in a lot of the other departments. So while, you know, I wanted to initially be hopeful for this Wonder Woman game, there is still, you know, a lot riding on its success and a lot of question marks and red flags that have already been raised. 
of course, um, you know, hearing this now, that apparently Warner Brothers Montreal is helping with the development of another major DC-based video game raises a lot more questions. It says the studio recently posted a job listing for an external development artist with the job description explicitly naming Monolith's Wonder Woman game as the project they will be working on. And I wanted to initially be very hopeful for this because, of course, I'm sure you all remember the Nemesis system. The Nemesis system System was fantastic and then of course Warner Brothers games trademarked it and we never saw it again it was only highlighted in the Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor and Shadow of War games which was such a disappointment and it sounded like they were actually really hoping to uh, put that in this game or they've at least kind of teased it and we do also know that this Wonder Woman game will not be a live service title which definitely relieves a lot of players after seeing the dis disappointment that was Kill the Justice League, but even this game um, has not had you know, the best track record so far. We've heard some questionable people that are going to be working on it. Most notably, Tanya DePass. Now, I actually, just a few days ago, had to talk about her. Let's wrap this back to Sweet Baby Inc. for a minute. Take this, an organization funded by Homeland Security had put out an article on Gamergate 2 where they talk about the targeted harassment levied towards Sweet Baby Inc. They have formed the greatest team of industry rejects, people that work for G4, Dungeons and Dragons, if you work, uh, or if you name it, they work at Take This. And Tanya DePass, who was a Gamergate individual, um, was actually on this list. She is a board chair member, and the reason why it's relevant to this Wonder Woman game is because the Wonder Woman senior writer, Tanya DePass, participated in Hogwarts Legacy boycott and attempted to get GOG employees fired amid other numerous red flags. So she is not a good individual. She has directly worked with Sweet Baby Inc. She works currently at Take This, and she is going to be writing for this Wonder Woman game. She is an individual who is part of Gamergate 1, who of course called it a major harassment campaign, is now, and is now one of the individuals who is calling this new, you know, movement against narrative consultation companies that's being dubbed as Gamergate 2. She is one of those people who is also calling it a harassment campaign. So the more things change, the more they stay the same, and this is one of the major reasons why I have not had my hopes up for this Wonder Woman title, because while we haven't seen much of it and we've only seen a very you know cgi cinematic very short teaser it really looks good i think that this model for wonder woman does look really good do not get me wrong but you know showing us in a teaser, a model, and then what it actually ends up in the final product can be two very different things. And while I don't want to be negative about this game, unfortunately, the cards are definitely stacked up against its favor at this point. I mean, Wonder Woman senior writer Tanya DePass has all kinds of baggage, including participating in the failed Hogwarts Legacy boycott and attempting to get a GOG employee fired. She announced last year in April uh, that she took a position at Monolith Productions as a senior writer on the upcoming Wonder Woman video game. And this is why I'm worried about the narrative direction that they will take this title in. And I think that over the past couple of weeks, there's been so much talk about consumers being educated like with the sweet baby and detected list you deserve to know what this game and is going to feature and who this game is going to be written by and while i definitely don't think that we are at a point where we can say this is going to be the worst game release ever i definitely think that judging by the people and of course companies uh that are you know starting to work on this game there's definitely a lot of red flags that are pointing to it being the next suicide squad kill the justice league disaster obviously only time will tell we do not even have a solid solid uh, release date for this game at this point, but we are talking about people who were part of Gamergate 1, who are now part of, you know, what's being dubbed as Gamergate 2, somebody who cannot help herself when shoving her own personal political opinions into products, um, someone who has definitely gone on the cancellation train before and tried to get Hogwarts Legacy boycotted, try has tried to get employees fired for simply supporting games that she personally does not like or does 
does not agree with. And there's just a lot of questionable things uh, surrounding this Wonder Woman game so far. And hearing that the Gotham Knights developers are going to be working on it definitely has me even more worried. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.